Hi, welcome to Unplugged with Aroldo and Darren. And before we get started, Darren, it's Pride Month. So tell me what are your thoughts on this month-long celebration? I have a lot of thoughts on yeah, so it, okay? So let's hear them. Let's go ahead. I'm 31 years old. <laughs> Good. I've been gay for 31 years. Oops. All was, 31 years, All of 31 years, all 31 as years. much as I can remember. <laughs> I remember. You know, and listen, I think Pride Month is great. I think it's an opportunity to celebrate and really, you know, remember the historical value of what gay people, LGBTQ plus community has really gone through. Right. But my one sort of gripe with it is, like, it's only a month. Like, shouldn't we be, like, I'm proud 365 right. days a year. Correct. What bothers me a little bit is just them, you know, focusing on pride for this one week. You right. know what I mean? And, like, every company gets behind it. Correct. And then as soon as July hits, oh, we're back to, like, the normal logo and this and that. I don't need rainbow all year, but right, I would right. like but acknowledgement that we're gay 365 days exactly a year. Exactly right. My point. But shouldn't it be, like, normal by now? Shouldn't it be, why does it have to be highlighted? Like, it should be something that it's already, you so, know... This is sort of my... I mean, this is, this is my thought. No, I agree with you completely. I've never been a huge gay pride marcher. I think okay. right now it's really for the historical value of it. I know right. there were some guys in Boston who wanted to do a straight pride yeah, parade. A, yes, Sort yes. of a, <laughs> a, a juxtaposition of what we're trying to go through. <laughs> right. Except the thing is, is that there's more historical value, I think, in the gay mm. pride parade. I mean, they've been more, we've been marginalized before. We had to right. fight for our rights to get married, to have children. There's still draconian laws about it. And so really, for me, it's just a representation of the history and what we went through and educating the public okay. about what happens. But for me... I feel just like everybody else. I don't right. really need a parade to tell me that I'm proud and, and I'm gay. Right. I am gay, and I feel that it's just a. All I feel is it's just a preference. It's like liking pizza, liking right, this, right, being right, right. tall, being short. It's just something that I so, like. So, what would you like to see in in society yeah. and in legislation, particularly in legislation? Right. That's that's the crust right yeah. there. Right. So what, what would you like to see? Well, I think that I think that. Politics follows culture, and so we think right. culture and the people, you know, us coming out as gay and being mm -hmm. really open, as soon as more and more people knew who were gay, right. legislation started to follow, and I think Correct. people started to realize that, hey, we're just kind of like everyone else. Okay. So I definitely think the public is paving the way for that already. Mm -hmm. I don't really think that making us more marginalized by, you know, adding letters to us and telling them we're in this group. I'm a human being, right. first and foremost. Correct. I'm an individual. I'm That's a human. Right. I'm just as important as you, right. I'm just as not important as you. Right. I'm, we're on the same level. And so what I would like to see is not as many barriers. Mm -hmm. You know, like I don't want to see gay rights, I want to see human rights, I want to see individual rights, because that's really what we are. Right, so do you think some people are, do you think they embrace it? Do, do, do most people still embrace it? Do most people still have a hard time with it? Do you see it slowly changing? Do you see no changes? How do you see it, say, for example, in the next five or 10 years or 20 years? I mean, listen, I think no matter what, uh, 2019, you know, it's, there's never been a better time to be gay, right. no matter what. I mean, listen, there's still hardships. We're still always fighting. There's always going to be that, yeah. right? There's always going to be things to push through and barriers to break. Right. But I still think there's never been a better time. And so it is slowly getting better. I mean, okay. listen, DOMA happened a few years ago. You know, sure. we, we got rid of that, so now yeah. we can get married. You know, there's surrog surrogacy laws that are being Correct. in place. Certainly yeah. in New York, we have really antiquated uh, surrogacy laws. So I'm hoping, mm -hmm. and that's and that's, can be very homophobic. And so I'm right. hoping to see that sort of break through. Uh, but I definitely think improvements are happening and changing or changes are happening. I think corporations can do a better job as opposed to, my problem is, is like they get on the bandwagon for this month and it's almost right. like for publicity to make Correct. them think that so they're they into gay people. Then... But then they vote for an anti-gay legislator, an anti-gay right. legislation. It, right. it doesn't matter if you put up a rainbow pride flag as mm. your Instagram picture for a month. Right. We need to see corporations and we need to see businesses doing it throughout the whole year entirely. I mean, this is why I don't shop certain places or I don't eat certain places that come out as anti-gay. Because right. for me, the best thing that I can do is fight with my dollars and fight with my money. And so as long as I'm not purchasing that and not supporting that, in some small way, I'm helping out my constituency. So, and that's why you're my co-host. That's right. <laughs> All right. That's right. <laughs> okay, guys, stay with us. When we come back, we have media personality and civil rights activist, Ashley Marie Preston. Stick around.